Hey guys, uh, want to talk just a little bit about construction financing, whatever it comes to building a home. So say you've been looking in the market and um, you just can't find the home that you guys like and you want to learn a little bit more about what it takes to actually build a house. And traditionally that would take 20% um, down. So you would have to find a lot. Um, that would take 20% on that lot. Sometimes the local bank the lending institution would use the equity that you have from the 20% down in that lot to extend construction financing. So what happens is um, you have the lot, um, you have the construction financing after you find a builder, after you find your architect, after you have the plans for the home, um, and you have a good idea of how much that home is gonna be, and the bank agrees that based on the plans that you intend to build with, and the location that you intend to build on, that it would be worth the amount that you're willing to spend on that land and on that home. And if it is, then the lender will extend the financing. What that means is um, they will extend the financing in chunks at a time as the house is being built. So um, let's say everything's approved and you have the construction financing uh, in place, ready to go and then you break ground. Um, so you start digging and uh, you get the footings in um, for the slab. And let's say that's $5,000. And that's the only thing that you did for that first month. Uh, when that happens, the subcontractors who poured that concrete for the footings or whatever labor was accrued during that month, they're going to send you or your builder a bill for their services. That bill is then gonna to go to your lender who approved your construction financing, <laughs> and then you approve it, and then they will pay that $5,000 bill. Then there will be interest that will start accruing on the balance of your expenses. So after that first month, you're gonna have a payment, and that payment due is gonna be however much interest accrued on 30 days for that $5,000. Naturally, over time, as you're building the home, that balance is going to grow, so you're gonna have a payment. Once the house is completely done, you're ready to move in, then you need permanent financing. So the construction financing, that's just for the build of the home. The permanent housing is going to tie that lot and the house together into one mortgage. Uh, traditionally, it's a 30-year fixed mortgage. So you've got the purchase of the lot, you've got the construction financing, and then you've got the permanent mortgage. That's the traditional approach, and typically that takes 20% down. That's called a traditional closing. More recently, uh, and what we offer at Bell Bank Mortgage, we also offer an option for what's called a one-time close, OTC. Completely different. So what that means is <clears throat> you haven't bought a lot yet, um, you don't even know what your plans are and you're not 100% certain on how much you're gonna spend. <laughs> Once you figure those things out, all you do is bring to me your plans, who your builder is, where you're wanting to build, and then I begin processing and getting your loan underwritten for, for construction. And then within 30 to 45 days after I get a copy of your plans and your bid, the loan is done, the rate is locked. It's done, it's done, it's secure. Then you break ground and start building the house. And when the house is done, you simply move into it. Much more straightforward, um, much more simple. It's much less stressful because you don't have to worry about uh, is the financing gonna be in place because there is no more financing, processing, underwriting. It's all 100% complete before you ever break ground and start building the house. Hope that helps. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. If you have questions, give me a shout.